Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Infinity Dot token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started here, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency content coming out on this channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn more about the space, I'd really recommend subscribing as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first here, we just want to open up our Trust Wallet. And once we get in our Trust Wallet here, I'm just going to remind everyone that I'm not going to show you how to create your Trust Wallet or how to buy or transfer BNB inside of this video here. If you need to learn how to do that, I'll have that linked in the description for tutorials based off of those two things. So if you're new and you need to learn how to do either of those two things, you can go ahead to there and watch those videos and then come back to this video to purchase the token if you would like to. Uh, anyhow, once you have your BNB inside of your wallet here, you just want to make sure you have it inside of your smart chain wallet. So let's just say, for example, it's in your BNB wallet right here. You just want to go ahead and click on your BNB wallet. Click on swap, and then you'll see an option right here to swap to smart chain. You're going to want to make sure it's in your smart chain wallet, or else you will not be able to swap the token on PancakeSwap. So that's very important to make note of. But once you have it in your smart chain wallet, you can then get the contract address. To get the contract address, I'll have a link over to the website for the infinity.token, where we're going to go ahead and copy the contract address from there, and then go ahead and bring it back into our trust wallet. So I'll have a link in the description for that. So you just want to go ahead and click on that link, and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're on the website. And once you're on the affinity dot website right here, we just want to scroll down and then you'll see the contract address for the token right here. So we just want to go ahead and copy this address. Once we copy the address, we can then head right back into our trust wallets. And then once we're back in our trust wallets, we just want to go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the two lines and two circles and click on that. Then we can go ahead and paste in this contract address up in this top search bar. We will then see add custom token. So we want to go ahead and click on add custom token. And then we'll see the network up here. Right now it's based on Ethereum, uh, just from the default setting. But we're gonna go ahead and click on that and then switch it over to Smart Chain. Once we have Smart Chain there, we can go ahead and paste the contract address. Everything else will load in automatically for us here. Once it's loaded in for you, you can go ahead and click on Save in the top right corner. And then you'll have a place for your uh, Infinity Dot token to go once you're done transferring the tokens over. So once we have a spot in our wallets for this, we could then head over to the exchange. And in this case, it's going to be PancakeSwap. So I'll have a link in the description and comment section for PancakeSwap as well. So you guys can just head over there and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're on PancakeSwap. And once you're on PancakeSwap here, the first thing we have to do is connect our wallets. So we're just going to go to the top right corner of the screen where we see the connect wallet button and click on connect wallet. We'll then click on wallet connect. And then here you could choose any one of these wallets that you would like to, but in this video, we'll be showing you with Trust Wallet. So we're gonna click on Trust Wallet. It's then gonna open up this connection screen inside of our Trust Wallet so we can access our BNB that's in our Smart Chain Wallet and then transfer it into the token. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Connect and then head right back over to PancakeSwap. Now, once we're back in PancakeSwap, we'll know our wallet's connected when we see the wallet icon in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB right here. And like I said before, if your balance is showing zero, but you do have BNB inside of your trust wallet, just ensure that it's in your smart chain wallet or else you will not see your balance here. Anyhow, all we have to do now is click on select a currency and paste that same contract address that we got from the website right in here as well. We'll then see the token pop up here. So we can click on import, I understand, and then import. Now, the last thing that we have to do to buy this token is change our slippage tolerance. So if we just go to the right of where we see exchange, we'll see this little settings gear here. You want to go ahead and click on the settings gear. And then right under that, you'll see swaps and liquidity and slippage tolerance. Now, for this token, you'll have to set your slippage tolerance to 18%. So we just go right here and change our slippage tolerance to 18%. Once we have our slippage tolerance on 18%, we can go ahead and exit out of here. And now all we have to do is decide how much BNB that we want to transfer into this token. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to do one BNB. I can go ahead and type in one BNB, and then it will show me the estimated amount I'll get in exchange for my BNB. Now, once you're happy with what you have here, you can go ahead and click on swap, where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you click on swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and stuff that's involved. If you're okay with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. Once you click on swap one more time, you will then be brought to a screen inside of your trust wallet asking you to confirm the transaction one more time. Once you click on confirm the transaction one more time there, you can then head right back into your trust wallet and your tokens will arrive here usually within a couple of moments. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy the infinity.token using trust wallet and pancake swap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.